guys, today's video is gonna be about some very embarrassing situations. That's nothing. Wife and I met her friend for lunch one day. I bent over to give her friend's baby a peck on the cheek. Didn't see she was breastfeeding until it was too late. It wasn't her baby, I guess. Okay, well played, sir. Well played. Best excuse ever. Was once followed by an oddball in the supermarket. Was frightening, so I started to speed up. So did he. Ended up with him literally chasing me up and down each and every aisle. Eventually he got up and then he asked if he could have his card back. <laughs> hey, hey, can I have my card back or just my kid? Actually, no, you can keep the kid. Bye. When I was like eight, I was wearing those Healy shoes with the wheels. I was in Tascos and I grabbed my dad's back chain's pockets to pull me along. Turn around to see my dad's running after me. I grabbed some random dude's butt pockets in Tascos. Oh, he turned around looking really scared. Can you imagine having your ass grabbed by a miner and his dad screaming at you? I once admired a beautiful coat on a mannequin in top shop, like full on admiration. I stroke it, brush my face against it. Don't judge me. It was a very cozy looking coat. Only to realize that the coat wasn't hanging on a mannequin. It was hanging on a real coat. Real human being. And I'm sure real human being was judging you, just like the rest of us. I met this guy at a mall before a concert. We kept running into each other, so we decided to have lunch together. He asked me about one of the bands playing, gave me a few bars of the song, and I said I hated that song. He was the singer of the band. I found out that day. <laughs> okay, and why were you in that concert for? If you don't like the songs or the band. I don't get it. I was at the park watching my two preschoolers on the climber when I spotted a toddler all by himself at the other play area. Where was his parents? I was appalled when I suddenly realized he was my kid. I forgot I had a third kid. <laughs> That's why I only have one. In highly trendy Sanderson Hotel in London, I go for a piss in the gents. The design is futuristic. I start pissing in the urinal, man comes in and starts washing his hands in the urinal. My horror at him turns instantly to his horror at me. I was pissing in the sink. You know what? Good thing you weren't pooping. Imagine that. Overseas talking to a stranger. Me, where are you from? Ireland. Me, I have never heard of it. It's an island near England. I repeatedly deny knowing it and apologize for never hearing of it. Days later, I realized she was saying Ireland in an Irish accent. I couldn't relate to that more. That's like my everyday life, guys. The worst thing just happened. I won't recover. I just reached into a box of free samples outside a chicken restaurant. Only it wasn't free samples. It was a man holding a box of chicken. He's chicken. I tried to steal this man chicken. <laughs> you know what? Everybody deserves a free sample, so. Hubby and I visited a winery in Sonoma and the man running the wine tasting demonstrating taking a sip of wine and holding your mouth while inhaling air to release the flavor scents. Hubby tried, choked on the wine and it spit it out all over the wine guy. <laughs> they should teach this technique in the Alcoholic Anonymous classes. I met a new business contact for the first time in a bar. I dipped into the bowl of nuts at a table and popped a few in my mouth. They were the hardest nuts ever because they were nuts. They were olive stones left by the person before us and now they were in my mouth. Time for shots! I was on a long flight and the woman next to me looked like she was struggling to turn her TV on. The screen was black and she was pressing buttons. We all did that. Button, 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 button. I reached across and pressed the power button. An hour or two in, I realized they had private screens and I had just turned the TV off. That's why we asked before helping people. Imagine her face in shock. I went to meet a date at a restaurant. I walked in and saw two piano players playing on two beautiful pianos. Told my date how cool it was to have synchronized piano players. Come to find out there was a full length wall mirror. One piano player. Wow, they went all out. Finding two identical twins, two identical clothes, two identical pianos playing identical songs. 
My son took his jacket off on the escalator in the underground only for his hand to become trapped in the mouth of the girl behind him. As he removed the hand, she said, sorry. <laughs> British Polaris at his most extreme. <laughs> you know what? I feel this girl was so afraid of your son. They're like, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, don't, don't do anything else, please. Friends that is a mortician, he was comforting a grieving family getting ready for a viewing. Offered the eldest monarch a tissue, burst some lint from her shoulder, and gently removed a hair that had fallen onto her cheek when she screamed. The hair was growing out of her face and he plucked the sucker right out. She held her hand to her face. <laughs> Dude did her a solid. She should be thankful. You're welcome. Went to find a toilet in a cafe. Thought it was odd how far away it seemed to be from the city. Found it and I thought it was odd that there were some toothbrushes in there. Turned out I was in someone's house. <laughs> wow, how far did he walk? And how did you find out? I hope no one just opened the door and you're right there like, oops. <laughs> At the supermarket, I unlocked my car from a distance, then saw two old ladies about to open the booth. Shouted at them, scared them in fact. Got into the driver's seat, only then realized it wasn't my car. Same make, same model, same cover. Man was parked two cars up. I swear on her, that's what happened. There was a laundry basket at the bottom of my stairs. I saw my husband's shirt in there and I could have swore I just cleaned the shirt so I grabbed it and took a deep sniff. Nope, not my husband's shirt, my roommate's underwear. Of course it came out of his room while I was sleeping. <laughs> How do you mistake shirt for underwear? My parents were looking at cars in a dealership. They were opening doors and sitting in them. I opened a car's back door as a kid would do, and was checking it out. Got a little freaked out when the actually owners got in, so I hid, and they started driving away. <laughs> okay, that's a family starter car. It comes with a kid. On the bus, London, to work. It was a rainy day, so I had a wet umbrella at my feet. At my stop, I went to pick it up, but the handle somehow hooked under the trouser leg of the man next to me. The more I fumbled to retrieve it, the more it disappeared further and further up his leg. Eventually, it had almost entirely disappeared up the leg of his business suit. He just sat politely through the entire thing. Only giving a short nod that said, this is awkward for both of us. I will do the dignity of not saying anything. Yo, how does that happen? I'm terrible at elevator small talk. My friend's little daughter heard me complaining about it and suggested I say, would you like to come up and see my hamster? Thought it was cute. On the way home, I was in the elevator with a man and man I didn't know. Tried to tell him the cute story. He thought I was asking him, up to see my hamster. <laughs> Turned red, mumbled something about his wife, and exited the elevator up floor. <laughs> well, do you wanna come see my hamster? Does sound very suggestive. Don't blame him. At a party, it's time to go home. Need to gather my kids. Took my six year old hands and walked outside. About to get in the car, looked down and realized this six year old isn't my kid. <laughs> well, was it a fair and better trade? Cause more than 25 years ago, I was in Germany at a cashier and tried to complete payment with a take a penny, leave a penny jar. The cashier grabbed my hand violently. <laughs> it was only then that I realized it was actually a tip jar. I still remember it when I closed my eyes. Must protect the tip jar at all cost. Ain't taking a penny from me. Alrighty, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked, press the button. Bye.